Hi, this is Ben, and I am going to show how to do the nylock bed leveling. I found some posts on some forums, um, but there was no video on how to do it. So I'm going to go through the process and level my bed per the uh, Prusa mesh leveling uh, plug-in for Octoprint. Um, I've got a millimeter of uh, difference from side to side. So I, it's going to vastly improve my level bed, and I should be able to print without having to have glue to stick things down. So. Uh, here we go. So first off, obviously you need to take off your bed, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the printer. Disconnect some things. Put the octoprint on the side, and go ahead and pull this guy up to the top. Get it out of my way. There we go. Nice and easy. Now we need to take off all the nuts that are on here, or the screws rather. all these out. I'll go ahead and save these for later because you'll need those. Have these all down nice and tight, but unfortunately these PCBs aren't always straight. So that's the way that works. All right, so once you have this off, lift it up gently, grab your standoffs. You're going to need two of these. One to put back in the center and one to use to measure. So set that one aside to use in a minute. Gently lay this over. Now you need to use those nuts you took out, or bolts you took out, and then put a nylock nut on the back of it. So you're going to put that through. Allen to hold it. Try not to drop it through, that's a mess. There we go. And then screw it on with the nylon facing the bed. So I've just got some uh, these are seven and three quarter. And uh, I'm just screw this on. Make sure you get started. Looks like this one doesn't want to play nice. Looks like I got a bad nylock to start with, so going off the side. Another one. And then when you get it here, you want to have it just tight enough that's going to hold it, but loose enough you're still able to spin the screw because you'll need to spin that to adjust it. Another option is if you have extra nylon or nylon uh, washers, you can put a washer in between the nut and the print bed. Unfortunately, I don't have a bunch of those. So, um, also if you don't have enough of these nylon nylocks, you can get them on Amazon. So. That's what I did. I bought an extra pack of them, and it worked out well. Especially when you drop them, man. All right. Let's 
So we're just going to do this to the eight around the outside of the bed, but not the middle one. We'll use a, still use a standoff for that one. And you want to be able to turn it, but not have it too tight. So just try to find that perfect spot. is the bag of these I got off Amazon. They're just some made in China M3 nylock nylon nuts and they seem to work well. All right, so now we've got all the exterior eight nut, uh, bolts with the nylock nuts on them. We're ready to put the middle one on. So we're gonna take the standoff, put the standoff back in here, because this is the height we, desi we are desired to have. Take the last screw. Go ahead and get it centered. Always interesting with all the magnets we have. There we go. Let's so go ahead and get that started. Just a hair. Go ahead and start each of the outsides. So now everything's started. Now I'll continue to tighten this one down. Since everything's on the, the nylon nuts, they uh, won't slide up and down. So we have to uh, evenly tighten everything. So go about a turn on each one, all the way down. It takes a little while to get it all done. It'll be better in the end. Now we can tighten the middle one again. A little more. And then go all the way around and do the same thing again. You're going to keep doing this until this one is starting to get tight. So we are bottomed out in the middle now. So now with the middle one, 
tight. I'm going to take one of these spacers and check the height next to each of my screws and then tighten them down so the spacers just barely fits in there. It's like It's like I gotta tighten these all just a little bit more first. Alright, let's see now. I'm going to tighten it so the uh, spacer just barely sticks and then back it out just a little bit until I can slide the spacer back out. And do that to all of them. That one's already good. All right. So now we get to plug it back in and give it a mesh bed leveling try. Turn that on. Grab my computer here. And we'll see what we get. Go ahead and uh, get some video on here to show what these look like once they're done down here. Throw the flash on. There we go. So you can see what they look like. All right. Let's see. Shows we're connected, so we'll go ahead and do a check, see where we're at, and then we can adjust from there. Again, when I started this, it was, and I've got the image I can show you, but it was over a millimeter difference from right to left. Also, the original uh, bed leveling technique I'm following here is the bed leveling without wave springs off the Prusa owner's Prusa form. And let's see, let's see who was written. It's off the actually it's off the GitHub looks like. Um, so we've got a uh, got a level. We'll go ahead and reload this heat map and see where we're at. So now I am point. 633 three millimeters across and you can see the uh, back is higher so let's give that a save and then we'll make an adjustment so go turn off the stepper motors go back to my bed level pull this out so we're going to looks like the middle which we can't adjust because that's got the standoff is right in the middle, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and lift these up a little bit, back that out a little bit, put this one down just a little bit, and this one, and 
this back one. And then we'll give it a try again, see where we're at. Just little adjustments all the time. There we go. Form bed level and check. Will be great when Prusa finally puts in the seven by seven bed mesh bed leveling. It'll give you a much better overall uh, performance. But until then, this is a really great way to have a lot closer level bed. Alrighty, let's see what we got. So now we are 0 0.452. So it looks like uh, we still need to go down in the back, up a little bit more in the front. So again, I'll go over and disable the steppers and pull this out. Come up a little more here, and then down in the back. Go ahead and go down a little in this corner, and here, just a smidge. There we go. Try that again. Seems to be a fairly simple process, and it will yield much better results as we go forward. It's great that we can mitigate for a wavy or non-level bed with the software mesh leveling, but you know nothing will beat a actual true level bed so we're not gonna get true level but we'll get pretty close I'm already half of what I used to be so that's great so I'll do this a few more times and once we get down to a nice level bed I'll come back and uh, show you guys So there you have it, 0 0.02 millimeter variance across the whole bed. So I say that's a win. You might be able to tweak it just a little more, but I went from over a millimeter difference to 0 0.02. So I'm very happy about that. Decided to print some uh, prints on some flatter flatter bed. Hopefully I'll have a little less problems with uh, parts of the print coming up on the sides. Obviously with a millimeter cross, that, <laughs> that, uh, that happened a few times. So anyway. There you go. There's the video. Hopefully that helped you out. And um, I'll put some links in the description to the nuts and to the uh, posts that I pulled the information from. And hope that helps you guys. Have a great day.